Hey, Shalom, Most High Christ, bless. You got Captain Ben Zion here. Officer Yeshua. All right, today we're going to do 15 minutes with the captains, all right? And today's class topic is going to be how to conduct myself on the job. Hey, this is a much needed um, topic to go over because we get this question a lot, you know, how to conduct myself on the job. Um, uh, should I do this or should I do that? Should I be bringing out the truth on the job? Should I, uh, should I put fringes on all my work clothes, you know? So these are things that uh, we must go over for people um, that are in the truth and people that's been in the truth and for the people that's um, coming into the truth, how to conduct myself on the job. All right, so I want to open up with Ecclesiastes uh, in the Bible, chapter 3 and verse 1. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 3 and verse 1. All right, this is very important to remember, all right? Come on, during your walk in this truth, come on. To everything, there is a season. All right, come on, meaning a time. To everything, there is a time to do something, okay? Come on. In a time to every purpose under the heaven. All right, now give me verse 7. Verse 7, a time to rend and a time to sow. A time to keep silence. A time to do what? A time to keep silence. We got to remember that as Israelites, all right, that... There is a time to keep silence. Okay, come on. And a time to speak. And there is a time to speak. That is very important uh, during knowing this during your walk in this truth. A time to keep silence and a time to speak. You got to be able, uh, when you come into this truth, to to know when to speak and know when to be quiet. All right? And, and, and on your job, it, and a lot of times, you know, it's a time to be quiet. It's a time for silence. It's not the place to bring out the scriptures. I know a lot of men and women, they come into this truth. They want the whole world to know, you know, saying we've been lied to and I, I know who I am. And, you know, it is what it is, you know. But if you want your job, a lot of times you must learn the time to speak and the time to be quiet. All right, go. G give me give me Deuteronomy chapter four and verse five. All right, so when being able to um, put a difference in, be in between the two of speaking and being silent, you got to use wisdom, all right? You got to use wisdom. Know who you're around on your job. Know who uh, you're speaking with on the job, all right? Um, a lot of people be on the job just because they see a Northern Kingdom brother. They want to give them a flyer. They be so excited to see him, or they see another uh, uh, a Southern Kingdom brother. You know, um, they want to be so excited to give them a flyer, or they got that zeal on them. But you got to be able to use wisdom. Come on, give me that. The Book of Deuteronomy, chapter four and verse five. Mm -hmm. Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments. All right. So the scripture says, "Behold, the Lord have given us." Uh, uh, the way to go. He told us, uh, he gave us statues and he gave us the judgments of those statues. Come on. Even as the Lord, my God, commanded me uh -huh. that ye should do so in the land, whether ye go to possess it. All right, so we're supposed to be doing the commandments wherever we go. Come on. Keep therefore and do them. It says to keep therefore and do what? The statues, all right? And the commandments and do them. Come on. For this is your wisdom. All right, when you come into this truth and you understand that we are the Israelites, now the Bible, the law, statutes, and commandments become your wisdom, all right? So you got to, one, be studying to gain that wisdom, all right? So you got to be able to go through the scriptures and pinpoint your weaknesses and your strengths, okay? So if talking, you can't shut up, that's one of your weaknesses, you got to go through the scriptures and, and 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 find out how to fix that, you know. Um, even if being silent is one of your weaknesses, you let people run over you, talking, you know, talk over you all the time. If that's you, got to go into scriptures and build yourself up in that area. All right, so keep reading. And your understanding in the sight of the nations. All right, so the scriptures is going to be your understanding in the sight of all the other nations on earth. Come on. Which shall hear all these statues and say, surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. A uh, what? An understanding people? What did it say? A wise and understanding people. So we're supposed to be wise. We're supposed to be an understanding people. We're not supposed to be on the job acting a fool, 
talking all loud. Brother still on the job sagging. Uh, having um, uh, these strange conversations. Still looking at all the women. Still trying to have sex with all the women on the job. All right? The other people, when you come into this truth, are supposed to look at you and say, hey, hey, that dude's changed. He ain't late all the time no more. He's different. He's he's on time. He's working. All right. He's being a uh, what we say a good slave. All right. He's got to pay his bills. He's becoming a man. He's understanding what he has to do in order to survive in this captivity. And that one thing is to work. All right. Because the scripture says, if a man don't work, he don't what he don't eat. All right. So he's starting to understand that he must be at work and how to keep a job. All right. So the other nations are supposed to be looking at us as a wise and understanding people the job sagging not on the job um what else some they do on the job uh huh yeah playing too much you know what i'm saying jesting too much all right being the jokester all the time all right so um give me proverbs one all right so we got to learn to use wisdom on the job that's what's going to get you on the job a lot of the brothers and sisters come in this truth and they get fired when they come into uh when they, they get fired off their job all right, because they don't know how to conduct themselves on their job, all right? The book of Proverbs, chapter 1 and verse 5. A wise man will hear. Uh, so, okay, so a wise man or a woman will what? Will hear. You're going to hear, all right, come on. And will increase learning. And you're going to increase your learning when you start to hear these things, all right? Come on. And a man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsel. So we're giving you wise counsel on how to keep your job. Some people, hey, they come in, they got very good jobs, but they do not understand how to conduct themselves on, on at the workplace, all right, on their job. All right, keep going. Verse 6, to understand a proverb and the interpretation, the words of the wise and their dark sayings, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of, of knowledge. All right, so the fear of the Lord, all right, keeping the commandments, that is, is the beginning of uh, obtaining knowledge of the Bible. Come on. But fools despise wisdom. All right, but a fool will despise the wisdom and lose his job. All right, give me Proverbs 3 and 13. Because we're coming to this truth with a zeal, and um, we'd be very happy. We want the whole world to know you're telling your family, you're telling the world, you on social media, TikTok, Facebook. You everywhere telling the world that, hey, I know who I am now. Okay, come on. The book of Proverbs, chapter 3 and verse 13. Happy is the man that findeth wisdom. All right, so you're supposed to be happy when you find this wisdom. All right, come on. And the man that getteth understanding. But you got to get understanding with this wisdom. All right, you got to get understanding with the wisdom. Come on. For the merchandise of it is better than the merchandise of silver. All right, so... To get wisdom and understanding of the scriptures and how to conduct yourself uh, through the Bible is better than having silver. It's better than having gold, diamonds. It's better than any all the riches of this world that the people got. Understanding who you are and understanding how to conduct yourself in this in this society, guess what? It's better than all of that because you, you see a lot of fools with money. These rappers, the entertainers, hey, you see a lot, but they're they, they not happy. They per, portray like they're happy. But they really not happy. As they say, the more money you get, the more problems you have. All right? But when you understand who you are in this Bible, it's better than any, any. That's why the scriptures say we rich. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? In Revelations, they say we rich. Uh, um, in Romans, all right? Because we have the understanding of the scriptures, all right? And the wisdom. Come on. And the gain thereof, then fine gold. All right, and the gain of this, the wisdom and the knowledge is better than fine gold. All right, let's give me, um, uh, let's stay in Proverbs. Since we're in Proverbs, give me um, maybe four and seven. The book of Proverbs, chapter four and verse seven. Come on. Wisdom is the principal thing. So we got to understand when you come into this truth that King Solomon said what? Wisdom is the principal thing. Wisdom is the principal thing. That's the number one thing you got to have, all right? That's something that you have to pray for. That's something that you have to work on, all right? Being able to uh, have wisdom, enough wisdom to make uh, certain decisions, all right, um, when it comes to being on your job, all right? Come on. Therefore, 
get wisdom. I said, therefore, you want to continue to learn and get wisdom. Come on. And with all thy getting. And but with all your getting, come on. Get understanding. Get understanding on what? How to conduct yourself on the job. Okay, come on. Exalt her and she shall promote thee. All right. If you exalt wisdom, she shall promote thee. All right, come on. She shall bring thee to honor. All right. You know, wisdom that you have is going to bring you into honor. You don't have to go around on a job. You know what I'm saying? Flaunting. Uh, you are Israelite and... Uh, you know what I'm saying? You got the biggest fringes on at work. Uh, they give you a, a work shirt. You know what I'm saying? You come back the next day with big fringes on your work shirt. It, ain't nobody on your job got fringes on their work shirt, but you come back, you know, uh, say you do construction or something, you know, and they give you all work shirts. You know what I'm saying? You got the yellow, uh, lime green shirt, the safety shirt. You come back, you're so happy you're Israelite. You got fringes on, big fringes on your shirt, lime green shirt. You got orange fringes on. And now everybody looking at you. Want to ask you questions? Use wisdom. All right, use wisdom. The scriptures say put fringes on your garment. Guess what? You can have on a shirt under your work shirt. Use wisdom. You see what I'm saying? You don't have to put it on your work shirt. Them people pay for that shirt. Now they want to know um, what's that on your shirt. Now they want to start researching. Okay, oh, he an Israelite. No, they're going to say a black Hebrew Israelite. That's the worst label ever to be called a black Hebrew Israelite on your job because now they're going to Google it and they're going to pull up the black Hebrew Israelites because we're not the black Hebrew Israelites. We are the Israelites. That's what we say. But when they pull up the black Hebrew Israelites, you're going to see some other black Hebrew Israelites saying some stuff that's going to get you fired. See what I'm saying? So you want to use wisdom. And don't go to work with those big – if you do put them on your shirt, just say – Boss say he don't mind what you do with your shirt. It's your shirt. You pay for the shirt. It's your work shirt. And if you do put fringes on it, don't find go to hard. Don't don't go find the biggest fringes you can put on there. The biggest, loudest fringes. Put you some nice little small, whatever color fringes, some little small ones, and put a blue ribbon on it where it ain't even that noticeable. All right. Use wisdom if you want your job. All right. A lot of people lose their jobs because they don't uh, use wisdom. All right, come on. Verse 8, exalt her and she shall promote thee. All right, exalt her and she shall promote thee. Come on. She shall bring thee to honor. All right, yo, yo, yo wisdom is going to bring you to honor. All right, not you running your mouth on the job. All right, come on. When thou dost embrace her. All right, you got to embrace wisdom. Come on. She shall give to thine head an ointment of grace. All right, so give me, uh, was that it on that one? Uh, no, sir. Finish that one up. A crown of glory shall she deliver to thee. All right, because you're going to be, hey, a crown of glory, wisdom going to deliver unto you because you're making the right decisions where we're talking about now on the job. All right, you conduct yourself right. You know, that raise you've been trying to get, you know what I'm saying? You go, you, the Lord see fit that you get that raise because you're conducting yourself and uh, with wisdom. All right, give me, um, give me some rock. All right. 27 and 12 right quick. Give me Sirach chapter 27 and verse 12. All right. Because um, a lot of people be on the job, want to talk about the truth all the time. You know, you want to sit in the break room. They got a TV in the break room. The news come on. They talking about uh, all the stuff that's going on in America. Now, you think this is your time to shine and show that these people the devil on your job. All right. Come on. The book of Ecclesiasticus or Sirach. Chapter 27 and verse 12. Come on. If thou be among the indiscreet. All right, the indiscreet could be the people on your job, all right? The people that's in the break room, the Negroes that you're sitting around. They, hey, a Negro be the first one to turn you in. You get to talking to Jake on the job about the Bible, he get offended, he will go to your boss, and he be the main one to get you fired, just like they did in slavery. Master, they trying to escape off the plantation. He talking about he's an Israelite. He talking about this and that. All right, so you can't, you just, you got to be real. Uh, when you're among the indiscreet, you got to do what? Observe the time. You got to be looking at the time. You know what I'm saying? You got to be looking at time. Okay, hey, you sp you spoke to him. You know what I'm saying? You're talking to him. But, hey, that's that's it, it is what it is. Like on my job, I speak to him, I talk to him, and guess what? That's it. You know what I'm saying? I don't be, you know, talking to them about the Bible. You know, if somebody ask a question, hey, you can hit them with a little something and just keep it moving. Don't be sitting up there having a whole full-blown conversation. Come on. 
but be continually among men of understanding. All right, and the people on your job, more than likely, a lot of them don't have an understanding of who they are. So you want to be continuing with the brothers and sisters that's in the truth. All right? So um, let's go. Give me Matthew 10 and 16. All right, so how to conduct yourself on the job. You use wisdom. All right, use wisdom. Because, you know, especially the sisters, you know, you get a job now. You used to be in there with uh, – with your uh, with all your private parts showing, you used to be in there with your uh, with your breasts out, with the big eyelashes, thinking you um, a Nicki Minaj or Cardi B or somebody. Now you come in there with a hair wrap on and you got a dress on that's going down to the floor, and then you got fringes on them. Now people are going to ask questions. They're going to ask, "Hey, what is this she in?" Because they they want to see your body. They used to looking at your body, the men and the women. In this world we living in, they they used to they they want to see your body, and when you start to cover your body up, they're looking to um, ask questions now and possibly get you fired. All right, so you got to be wise. Okay, you got to be wise when dealing with Esau or Jake on the job because they are looking to get you uh, fired um, or, or getting you demoted from your position. Why? Because you used to be that eye candy, and you no more that no longer that eye candy. Some of them feel like they don't need you no more. All right, but you got to be able to use wisdom. All right, give me that. The book of Matthew, chapter ten and verse sixteen. Uh huh. Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. All right. So you got to remember that you are a sheep in the midst of the wolves. Here could be on your job. All right. Come on. Be ye therefore. Wise as serpents. You got to be wise as a serpent, all right? A serpent don't talk, if you ever knows that, notice that. A serpent, it thinks, it got a brain, but it can't talk, okay? So he got to be wise as a serpent, come on. And harmless as doves. And you got to be harmless, all right? You got to be harmless because your, 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 your speech uh, can offend people. All right, your speech can offend people, and when people get offended, they'll start to research what you're learning, and they pull up what you're learning. Hey, that more, nine times out of ten, how they got it set up, they pull up black Hebrew Israelites, guess what? They're going to pull up some bad information, all right, because of the black Hebrew Israelites who don't have enough wisdom enough not to put the bad information on social media, okay? They don't have enough wisdom to... Keep quiet when bad things happen in the uh, Israelite community. When they pull up black Hebrew Israelites, they gonna pull up some bad stuff. I'm telling you, all right? You gonna you gonna pull up stuff on people on the street, hollering at folks downtown and stuff, calling people the devil and stuff like that. That's how Esau got it set up. They're not gonna pull up your school. They're not gonna pull up IUIC first. They have to dig, you know. They're not going to pull up IUIC first. They're going to pull up them, them dudes, I'm telling you, uh, that's giving a black eye to the nation. And that's what the Most High set them there for. They're doing their job, all right, and they're working right along with the devil. That's why when the devil go look for us, the Israelites to find the truth, they're going to pull up the deflection, <laughs> the deflectors. That's what I call them, the deflectors of the truth. Because when you, you pull a video up, they're not using no wisdom when they're teaching, all right, um, they just got one main focus they want everybody to know uh, that everybody should already know by now, and uh, that's who the devil is. We already know that, all right? And that's that's their main goal and objective. All right, y'all, so with that, that's going to be 15 minutes with the captains, how to conduct yourself on the job. Hey, what's going on, Noah? Hey, what's going on, Kadam, man? You good? Man, I'm straight, man. What uh, you got going on? Man, shoot, man, on this break, man. They got us working like uh, Hebrew slaves out there, mother. You hear me, real, man? Oh, for real? Yeah. Hey, they working you. They working you man. worse than they working me, man. How long you been here, man? Like two weeks. Oh, for real? Yeah. You liking it this far, man? Man, it's all right, but the boss, man, he acting crazy, man. Man, you know how them crackers do us, man. <laughs> man they work with work. You know that white man is the devil, man, the Bible speaks about, bro. The devil? He ain't man. got no pitch for it. What you bro, mean? he the devil. I'm trying to show you in this Bible, man. The white man is the devil, man. Man, he ain't all that, but I don't think he's the devil, though. Bro, the what white man is the devil straight out of here. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. Check this out. Bro, you got a light, man. Oh, what you need a light for, bro? Ain't saying or something? Man, you know what I'm trying to do, man. You know? I'm trying to, you know, 
You trying to smoke something, man? <laughs> bro, you trying to smoke on the job, bro? Man, they stressing me out up here, man. Tell me I got to work overtime, mandatory all week. Man, man bro, bro, you better do something other than getting high on the job, bro. You supposed, man, I'm going to show you in this box right here in Titus 2, bro. You supposed to be sober, bro. You, you a young man. You supposed to be sober. I can show you in the word of God, bro. That's all I know. Bro, come on. I'm going to show you something. Bro. Check this out, bro. Check this, check, check this man, scripture look, out, bro. Man, I don't go bro, about that no more, man. Bro, I'm telling you, man. This is what the scripture say, bro. The, the, the man, New Testament this, it verifies bro. the Old Testament, bro. Man, you seen that bad-ass white girl that you walked in, though? Man, come on, man. White girl. Man, man. That's a, you know that's a bro. sin, bro? What? That's man. a sin, too, bro. Man, Why check this out, bro? bro. I can't I'm, have white girls. I can't have white girls either. Hey, man, I'm having a birthday party this Friday. You trying to come through? Hey, bro, we don't do no birthdays, man. Come on, man. What you mean we don't do no birthdays? Man, we the Israelites, bro. I'm we don't celebrate. Bro, we do not celebrate birthdays, man. I'm you can't celebrate my birthday. Bro, it's abomination, bro. It goes That's against weird. the Most High. Cause you don't celebrate you, you supposed to celebrate the Most High God, man. I What's wrong with that. you? Bro, I'm trying to tell you, bro, don't do it, man. man don't bro. do it. Stick to this Bible, man. Boss. Hey, what's going on? You're not going to believe this. What's you that? know Noah, the guy to be wearing the Christmas ornaments, the, the jingle bells and stuff on the bottom of his shirt? Yeah, uh, yeah, the one that has some little things swinging off his shirt. Yes, yes, yeah. him, him, him. Yeah. You don't believe what I just heard. Him and the new guy, they trying to get him and, and come against us. Come against us like how? What do you mean? Look, they trying to overthrow you. I think that... That they one of them black Hebrew Israelite people that we was talking about a long time ago. Black Hebrew Israelite. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 Him. Him. Yeah. They said that our boss, our boss, is the damn devil. Can you believe this? Is that right? That's what they said. You can't eat pork, white men, women, all them people. They don't believe in none of it. They hate all of us. They hate all of we us. We got to do something about it. Yeah. You know what? Let's 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 go do something about that. We need to talk to them. Okay. Thank you. Come in. Hey, uh, hey, boss, you uh, want to see me? Yeah, yeah. I've been hearing a lot of complaints on the job that you've been uh, preaching about Black Jesus and Christmas holidays and all of that. What's what's going on? Man, I'm just uh, trying to spread the word, man. Trying to you know spread the word. What word? Uh, the, the Bible, man. So I'm just trying to spread the Bible, man. That's all I'm trying to do, man. Well, unfortunately, you have been saying this in the wrong place. So we're gonna have to lay you off. We can't be. We ain't got time for all this shuffling and jive that you got going on up in here. I ain't gonna do it no more. No, so we're gonna have to let you go. Security. I'm so tired. I'm so tired. 